Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, March 23rd, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is awareness of I am exists beyond knowing I am. So kind of a tricky one, but I, I think we'll be able to like get into this, understand this today. So today we have the sun in Aries at three degrees. So three degrees is that degree of expansion. Three degrees is the degree that resonates with Jupiter. So it's like seeing things from a, a larger perspective, a bigger perspective. Now I want to mention something. We go from three degrees to four degrees. We go from Jupiter to Uranus energy. So Jupiter is like, yeah, we see the big picture. We see, we see the horizon. And then we, we hit that Uranus energy. And that Uranus energy is like, okay, and here's what you need to evolve. Here's what you need to shift. Here's what you need to revolutionize within yourself in order to reach that horizon, to fly into that horizon energy, um, to really get into that big picture. So it's really, you know, the astro is always working for us. Work with it. This is the point of this. Be a cooperative component. Somebody sent me a message about that this morning just now, being a cooperative component. Anyways, <laughs> so we have an opportunity to be this cooperative component. Now, I think this three degree and getting from... Getting this perspective is really important for this four degree energy. This four degree sun energy that we're going to build into tomorrow and then early in the morning on Saturday um, is going to have the sun and Venus retrograde coming together at four degrees at that revolution evolution degree. So today, getting beyond the limited knowledge of who you think you are can really help you get into that work stuff with that Venus retrograde, get into awareness that your I am who you are exists far beyond what you know about yourself so much more beyond um so that you know when when any of these triggers come up with the sun venus meeting they can be burned up in the sun released you can hit that new level you can revolutionize yourself you can be in that evolutionary process it's just beautiful how it's working we also have this moon today the moon in aquarius Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, so this moon in Aquarius is helping us in and through this energy as well, but being like, there never was a box that you had to put yourself in, the I am that box. No, you are all box. <laughs> there is no box because it's infinite. And so that moon in Uranus is helping us connect to that. So we begin the day with the sun and the moon connecting the moon in Uranus. The moon is not in Uranus. The moon is in Aquarius, but it's funnier to say it that way. That must have been my inner child coming up or my advanced Mercury shadow experience coming up. Anyway, uh, sun, sex time, that moon is helping us get there, jump out of the box when it comes to knowing ourselves, when it comes to revealing ourselves, when it comes to releasing ourselves from I am prisons that we put in, put ourselves in. Like, oh, well, people know me as this thing, so I'm going to keep showing up at this, as this thing. It doesn't have to be that way. No more. <laughs> so as we move through the day, the, uh, the moon is then going to connect with Venus. So Venus is still at uh, six degrees, actually, for this connection. So six degrees, finding that balance. Now, this is one of those things. I think sometimes we get overwhelmed, and I talked about this earlier this week. We get overwhelmed, like, I want to be there now. Like, I see my potential. I see my potential as a unicorn. My I am vibration as a unicorn. I want to be there now, and yet I still am just this human. <laughs> the universe is like, you've got to, you know, don't give up because you're not a unicorn yet. And obviously this is not necessarily a very practical example, but this is the way it's coming out. So <laughs> find your balance in it. Okay. So you want to feel like a unicorn. Well, what's going to make you feel like a unicorn today? What are the steps that you can take? Little glitter eyeshadow or maybe some rainbow colored hair. There's things that you can do. So what are those practical action steps? How can you be actional in moving towards this thing that you feel. Now I feel like this is going to be in regards to your talents. So a more practical application might be like, oh, I really like cards. Maybe I'll get myself a deck of cards and just start, you know, pulling one every day for myself. Get to know the cards and get to know what they feel like for me. That's a practical, non-unicorn, actionable step in this energy. So then we're going then we're going to reach the practical. Then we're going to reach the point that would be like, "Oh no, you are not a unicorn." You are not a unicorn. The moon in Aquarius is going to square Mars and Taurus. Mars and Taurus, uber practical. However, Mars and Taurus is at nine degrees. So even though this Mars and Taurus energy is like, well, let's build a practical thing. 
reading cards is a lot more practical than being that unicorn energy. <laughs> I'm going somewhere with the unicorn. The animals, they're talking to me these days. Um, but the nine degree energy is like, but there's this fire within that's like, maybe I could be a unicorn or maybe I could be a unicorn energetically. Like, So seize that inner passion and let that take you through any of the resistance to this bigger understanding, this bigger awareness of your I am, recognizing that you can go beyond, again, this little box that you've been in. Now, this is one of the things that we've been talking about, this final aspect is one of the things we've been talking about building into. We have Mercury in Aries beginning to work the uh, cardinal T-square energy. So today, Mercury meets up with Pluto. So conversations may go along the lines of to somebody, hey, I had this realization that I'm a unicorn. And then, you know, that person's reality crushes you and you fall off your unicorn. And you're like, how can you say that to me? This resistance, this could bring up some major transformation stuff. You know, it's like those things. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This kind of energy might be kind of like that. Um, belief. Belief in knowing yourself. Belief in like feeling yourself. Belief in trusting yourself can really take you so far. And you know, this you may come, you may come up against that in this thing. The Aries, the Mercury in Aries does not want to hear it. It doesn't want to hear it. It doesn't need outside information telling it or the world telling it that you, you'll never be a unicorn. You can never have this thing that you, you dream of. Meanwhile, Pluto in Capricorn is changing all of these paradigms. Um, and so, you know, you've got you've to see where that outside thing, the outside dream crusher is coming in and showing you where you are that inside dream crusher. This is happening. This aspect is happening at 19 degrees. That is a 10. This is knowing your worth. So this is really going to be helping you dismantle, shift up your personal thinking process around your worth, whatever it is. Again, this doesn't have to be you becoming a unicorn. It's just a really handy example because I have a unicorn card for me today and it just fits in so perfectly. Um, but don't let the stinking thinking, don't get thinking, you know, these things, don't let that get in your way. Don't let your head overrule your heart. They're meant to work together. And look, those dolphins, they're lighting up that unicorn spot. They're saying, hey, it may not look like a traditional unicorn, but if you feel like a unicorn, by golly, because <laughs> that's what dolphins say, by golly, you can be a unicorn. So you've got to get past, past this awareness, you know, because you're stuck. You're stuck in this 3D awareness. You're stuck in the awareness that the world wants you to live in because that's safe. You've got to get past that and realize, whoa, there's a great big world out there. There's so much more when you can peel off those layers, peel off and through them. Now, I also have the Hermit card and the Sorrow card. Look at these little monk dudes. You've put a lot of work in in these past, ah, uh, here it is, in the past life energies. You know, you've put a lot of vibrational work. I believe many of us have had, especially if you like resonate with what I do, have had these lifetimes where we have sat in solitary, really honing, working the vibration to help us through this lifetime now, that lifetime then too, but like this lifetime now, this can serve you now. You may find those outside dream pressures coming up through this energy. Take what they say and use it to find where is where is this where is this pattern within me? And then how do I shift it? How do I get beyond the sorrow of I'll never be a unicorn? Step into my aloneness, step into my knowingness and find my harmony in this energy and then see how I can work this out. Because only you can really do this for yourself. You are so powerful. You are powerful beyond your knowing. But you've got to get in tune with this for yourself. So if you're feeling or having any of those outside conversations Notice what it's showing you about yourself. This transformation, this Mercury in Aries is about transforming your own mind and really getting into it to support your I am. And in a few days when Mercury meets up with Uranus, that's going to be a nice little level shift, um, energetic level shift. So like I said, I have unicorn, <laughs> hence all the unicorn references. But this unicorn is referencing the third eye and you know it's talking about this is talking about how it's um you know 
Well, I'll just read it. It's difficult to hear, see, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning, is it real? Do they really exist? Could they have ever existed? You know, all those questions that come up. And the answer is, might be maybe, what if? It could have been, I don't know. You know, we don't really know, but come on. Unicorns existed. You know that. I know that. <laughs> um, and they still exist, I believe. I know. I've seen them. Maybe just in my dreams so far, but I believe. Anyways, unicorn. So, you know, this is what we do to ourselves. Like, could I be this unicorn? Could I be this thing that I dream about being? Well, yeah, you can be, but you've got to find the alignment. And I love this along with that harmony card because this unicorn represents the third eye chakra, the Ajna chakra. And so this is an opportunity to get in tune with your higher self, to get out of the logical mind and get into your spirit-led mind, into your higher self mind, into the mind that doesn't have boundaries on where you can go. And this will help expand you from where you're at. <clears throat> Let's see. This center is called the Ajna Chakra, the command center. In the ancient yogis believed it to be responsible for our intellect, intuition, and deepest wisdom. Wisdom. Some say our two eyes see the past and present, while this third eye peers into the future, where you very well could be a unicorn. So believe in yourself. I, that's the message overall. Believe in yourself. Believe in your possibilities. You don't have to have it right now. You don't have to see it right now. It doesn't have to be in physical 3D right now for you to be on the path and moving towards it and being that cooperative component. Your mind in this thing, in this T-square, may be rebelling. Keep soothing it, telling it, bringing it further awareness, and helping your mind along its personal journey and its personal path of evolution because it's evolving right along with the rest of us. So that is it for today. Yay! Be a unicorn. <laughs> All my unicorn lovers, shout out. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Book a reading if you want to dive in deeper. Namaste.